Hi and welcome back to class of design of machine elements. I am Nitesh Sayani, assistant professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. This is lecture 20, Thick Cylindrical Cells. The learning outcomes of this lecture is to learn the thick cylindrical cells. But before we start the thick cylindrical cell, we complete uh, the worksheet problems given in previous uh, lectures. So consider the worksheet problems given in previous lectures. A seamless spherical cell, 900 mm in diameter and 10 mm thick is being filled with the fluid under pressure until its volume increased by 150 into 10 raised to 3 mm cube. So here a seamless spherical cell is given and diameter of cell is 900 mm and thickness of this cell is given 10 mm and uh, fluid is filled in this uh, pressure vessels uh, until the pressure increased by 150 into 10 raised to 3 mm cube. So calculate the pressure exerted by the fluid in this cell and taking the modulus of elasticity for uh, material of cell is as uh, 200 kilo newton per mm square and the poison ratio as 0.3. So here the spherical cell is given and uh, the pressure is we have to given the delta V because it is given the volume increased by 150 to 10 raised to 3. That means delta V is given and diameter of uh, cell is given 900 mm, T is given 10 mm and T is given 200 kilo newton uh, per mm square and poison ratio nu is given 0.3 so, and we have to find the pressure intensity uh, or pressure exerted by the fluid in this spherical cell. So first of all we collect the data given in these problems that is D is equal to 900 mm, T is 10 mm Delta V is uh, 150 into 10 raised to 3 mm cube. E is 200 into 10 raised to 3 newton per mm square. We converted into kilo newton per mm square into newton per mm square. And U is given 0.3. Here delta V is given. So we have to use the equation delta V is equal to pi into P into d raised to 4 divided by 8 E E into 1 minus mu. Here delta V is given 150 into 10 raise to 3. So we have to place delta V is equal to 150 into 10 raise to 3. Now uh, we have to calculate the pressure exerted by the fluid. So in this equations you can see we have to find the P, value of P. So if you see in these equations there are D that is given in problems 900 mm. There are T that is 10 mm, E is the modulus of the elasticity, it is given 200 into 10 raised to 3 newton per mm square and there are nu that is given 0.3. So if we place all these values in these equations, we get uh, uh, equations like that is uh, delta V is 150 into 10 raised to 3 is equal to pi into P into 900 raised to 4 divided by 8 into 10 into 200 into 10 raised to 3 and into 1 minus 0.3 and if we simplify these equations to in the to calculate the pressure exerted by the fluid so we get the answer of pressure exerted by the fluid according to our condition that is 1.66 newton per mm square now consider the thick cylindrical cells subjected to internal pressure. So here we have to discuss the thick cylindrical cell subjected to internal pressure. So consider the thick cylindrical cell as shown in figure A. Figure A shows the thick cylindrical cells. Here the pressure is exerted P. That, that means the pressure intensity is P and it is subjected to uh, internal pressure as you see in the thick cylindrical cells and there are Ri is the internal radius of uh, particular cylindrical cells and Ro is the outer radius of the cylindrical cells and if you see that there are T is the thickness of this particular cylindrical cells and there are taken one uh, cross section Dx at the uh, radius x. So we have to consider this, this thick cylindrical cell uh, to subject point of view 
and if we seen that in previous uh, thin thin uh, thin uh, cylindrical cells, we assume that the stress distributions of uh, cells is uh, uniform throughout the cross sections. Or here in thick cylindrical cells, we cannot uh, consider that the stress uh, is distributed uniform throughout the sections. So here the stresses varies according to the thickness of cylindrical cell. So consider the figure P that is the tangential stress distributions and uh, subjected to internal pressure P. You can see in this figure there are internal pressure is applied P and uh, if you see the stress distributions caused uh, throughout the thickness of this cylindrical cell you can see that there are tangential stress maximum at the inner radius of the cylindrical cells and the, it is gradually decreased to it as we go from inner to outer surface of the cylindrical cells and it is minimum at the outer surface or outer radius of cylindrical cells so there are sigma t max at the inner surface or inner radius of cylindrical cell and sigma t minimum is equal to ah is at the outer surface of cylindrical cells so here are uh, stresses gradually vary uh, decrease and uh, uh, you can see the in figures now the consider the radial stress distributions uh, same this uh, as uh, tangential stress distributions here in radial stress distributions there are maximum stress maximum radial stress at the inner surface of the cylindrical cell and uh, it gradually decreases and it becomes the uh, zero at the uh, outer surface of the cylindrical so if you see that here the uh, radial stress is in compression mode so it is in the downward direction so here the radial stress sigma r is maximum at radius r i and r uh, and r uh, sigma r is uh, minimum and at outer surface of cylindrical cell and it is zero at the outer cell now uh, in thick cylindrical cells, uh, we have to follow the equations according to the Lenz equations, Bernays equations, Clavinus equations, and Barlow's equations. These four equations we have to use in design of thick cylindrical cells. So these equations we have to use uh, to design the thick cylindrical cell according to the conditions of materials and the uh, end uh, conditions so according to the material of uh, cylindrical cells and end conditions of uh, uh, pressure vessels we have to use these four equations to design the thick cylindrical cells so first is Lenz equations, Bernays equations, Clavinus equations and Bernoulli equations so these four equations is mostly used in thick cylindrical cell now consider the thick cylindrical cell as shown in figures here the Ri uh, is the inner radius of cylindrical cells, Ro is the outer radius of cylindrical cells and uh, according to the cylindrical cells if we consider uh, then let us the uh, Ro is uh, outer radius of cylindrical cell, Ri is the inner radius of cylindrical cell, T is the thickness of the cell the cylindrical cell and if you see that there are T is nothing but T R O minus R I T is the internal pressures inter or intensity of internal pressures nu is the poison ratio and sigma T is the tangential stress and sigma R is the radial stress now according to the Lamb's equation first is the Lamb's equation according to Lamb's equation the tangential stress is at any radius x is given by sigma t is equal to pi into ri square minus po into ro square divided by ro square minus ri square plus ri square into ro square divided by x square into pi minus po upon ro square minus ri square so this is the tangential stress uh, at any radius x according to Lamb's equations and uh, if you see the sigma r it is the radial stress at any radius x 
that is uh, pi into ri square minus po into ro square divided by ro square minus ri square minus ri square into ro square divided by x square into pi minus po upon ro square minus ri square so this is the tangential and radial equations we have to use these equations for the thick cylindrical cells and uh, if you see the tangential stress distributions here in figure you can see that there are maximum stress at inner surface and um, uh, minimum stress at the outer surface so and uh, this cylindrical cell is subjected to internal pressure as we seen in uh, as we mentioned in our slide that thick cylindrical cell subjected to internal pressures and you here also you can see the internal pressure p is applied in this cylindrical cell so we have to place the boundary conditions in this above equation so here pi is equal to p because uh, we have to apply the p that is the intensity of internal pressures and there are no any external force so we have to place the po that is the outer pressure external pressure is equal to zero <coughs> now if we apply this boundary conditions in above equation then sigma t becomes p into ri square divided by ro square minus ri square into 1 plus ro square divided by x square so this is the equations of tangential stress according to the our condition that is the internal pressure uh, see a cylindrical cell subjected to internal pressure so this is the sigma t equations and if you see in figures there are maximum tangential stress at the inner surface that is the r a radius r i so we have to find the maximum uh, tangential stress uh, and for that we have to place the value of x is equal to r i so if we place in above equations uh, x is equal to r i we get the maximum tangential stress that is sigma t max is equal to p into r o square plus r i square divided by r o square minus r i square so this is the maximum tangential stress and it is derived by placing x is equal to r i and if we see in figures there are tangential stress is minimum at the outer surface of the cylindrical cell so to calculate the minimum tangential stress we have to place the x is equal to r o in above equations so if we plus x is equal to r o then the minimum tangential stress becomes sigma t minimum is equal to 2 into p into r i square divided by r o square minus r i square so this is the tangential stress uh, maximum stress and minimum stress now if we consider the radial stress according to the ram's equations like this and if we consider the conditions of radial stress distributions throughout the thickness of cylindrical cell and uh, it is subjected to a uh, internal pressure so we have to place the boundary conditions pi is equal to p and po is equal to zero so above sigma r equations get, uh, simplified by the placing the boundary conditions and we derive the equations of sigma r by placing the boundary conditions is equal to p into r i square divided by r o square minus r i square into 1 minus r o square divided by x square here x is the radius at particular sections so this is the general equation uh, of radial stress according to the our conditions and if we see the radial stress distributions uh, in a graph for figures there are maximum uh, radial stress at the inner surface of the cylindrical cells and uh, minimum uh, radial stress at the outer surface of the cylindrical cell and it is equal to zero so if we see we have to in figure uh, to calculate the sigma r maximum we have to place the value of x is equal to r i in above equation so we get the maximum radial stress is equal to minus p and that is compressive and minimum radial stress sigma r minimum is equal to zero so uh, you can uh, find the sigma r max is equal to minus p
in this compression. Now next is Bernays equations. So this Bernays equation is based on the maximum strain theory of failures and it is applied for the open end cylinders and uh, according to the Bernays equations uh, whole thickness of cylinder is given by T is equal to Ri into under root of sigma T plus 1 minus nu into P divided by sigma T minus uh, 1, mi 1 plus nu into P minus 1. So this is the uh, equations of wall thickness of cylinder according to the Bernays equations. In this equation sigma T is the allowable stress and the nu is the poison ratio and P is the pressure intensity and Ri is the internal radius. So and in this case we have to take sigma t that is the allowable stress and that is sigma t we have to take 0.8 times the yield stress, yield stress that is sigma y. So we have to take sigma t is equal to 0.8 into sigma y. Now third is the Clavrinos equations. The Clavrinos equations is also based on the maximum strain uh, theory of failures and uh, uh, here this equation is applied for the closed end cylinders and according to the Clavrinos equations the whole thickness of cylinder, cylinder is given by uh, T is equal to Ri into sigma T uh, R sorry T is equal to Ri into under root of sigma t plus 1 minus 2 nu into p divided by sigma t minus 1 plus nu into p minus 1. So this is the whole thickness equations according to the Clavinos equations and we have to use these equations whenever the condition is in uh, close end cylinder. And here you also you have to take Sigma T is equal to 0.8 times the yield stress sigma y. Now, and fourth and last is the Burlow's equations. Uh, the Burlow's equations is uh, generally used for the high pressure oil and gas pipes. And these equations, uh, according to these equations, the whole thickness of cylinder, cylinder is given by T is equal to P into RO divided by sigma T. Here sigma t is the allowable stress, p is the internal pressure and ro is the outer radius. And uh, here you have to take the sigma t values according to the material. So for the flat material sigma t you have to take 0.8 into sigma y. And for brittle materials you have to take sigma t is equal to 0.125 into sigma q that is ultimate tensile stress. So in these lectures we learn uh, one worksheet problems given in previous lectures and uh, we learn the thick cylindrical uh, cells and uh, which are the equations uh, used in thick cylindrical cells. Uh, thank you.